here you see the medonal meniscus including ligaments fixed on mm -hmm. the donor tibia plateau the anterior horn is taken off with the ligament from the bone the posterior horn ligament is taken off with a small piece of bone as you can see here I take that with a sizzle then I prepare the plug the plug is um, prepared with a suture and with the suture I can pull the plug into a socket in the knee of the patient at the anatomical position of the meniscus. After finishing this suture I put three other sutures into the donor meniscus, one in the anterior horn ligament and two uh, at each one third of the meniscus. So that I can pull okay. with those sutures the meniscus into the joint. After measuring the bone plug, I know the diameter of the socket. Here you can see the artrotomy where I put the meniscus into the joint and a postromedial lateral incision is also made. Here is the preparation, here is the postromedial uh, portal made. I make a horizontal incision with the knife, not to get problems with the rim or cut the rim. Here again I prepare the tibia plateau with a shaver. This is the anatomic position where I can put the uh, donor meniscus in. This is the aiming device to get the socket into the accepted position. Interactively. And with a flip cutter, I know the, how deep the socket is made. One centimeter, one and a half centimeter. Then I pull the suture through, through, through the socket, through the anteromedial uh, incision. Then I make an artrotomy at the front side and pull the suture out of the artrotomy. I have two sutures, one is going through the tunnel and one is going through the posteromedial incision. And with the, these two sutures I pull the meniscus into the joint, as you can see as follows. First, the plug at the posterior horn is pulled into the joint, as you can see here. And next, the suture through the postural medial incision is pulled out of the joint. As you can see here. And now the meniscus is pulled into the joint through the artrotomy, first by putting on the transtibial suture and then to the also medial suture. And now it flips into place. As you can see here, the meniscus with the bone plug is in the suture, in the socket I mean. And now the suture is tied over and knotted over a button. Then I put two or three, depending on the width of the meniscus, uh, all inside sutures at the posterior horn. Also by pulling on the posteromedial suture, get the, the capsule tight to the meniscus and not the meniscus tight to the capsule, so that the meniscus stays in anatomical position. Now pulling on the knot. meniscus is in place, two or three are placed on inside, then I change the portals and put so-called inside-out sutures into the meniscus. And they are taken out of the postromedial aspect.
the same technique I use for the lateral muscles. Then I tie the suture under visualization during arthroscopy, making it not too tight so that it doesn't flip upwards. Sometimes you can also put an incision in the, as you see here, the under surface of the meniscus. At the end, I pull on the anterior ligament and I fix it with a swivel lock anchor under tension. And now the meniscus is fixed into the joint. And then the closure is done. And here you see the postoperative x ray with the button and the swivel lock anchor in place and the socket.